Welcome to Show Off Showdown! In this series, the fighters are called Show Offs, and this is the series for the Show Off Showdown! Now let's meet the Show Offs for tonight's showdown, shall we? Tonight, we have a battle between two deviously deadly fighters who could literally transform into anyone. That's right, Mystique versus Shang Tsung. Because these two both have the ability to shapeshift into the form of any being they desire, it's almost as if anyone can fight anyone. I put links to the analysis on both characters in the description below. Now without further ado, it's time for the Show Off 2 Showdown! Get ready for the next battle. Round one. Fight! Fight! <laughs> Round two, fight! Round three, fight! Come on! Fatality. Now, that's what I call a fatality! Okay, now before we discuss this battle, I need to make it very clear that the animation you just saw was not, and I repeat, not a simulation. All of the random characters from different series that Mystique and Shang Tsung transformed into had nothing to do with this battle. In fact, Mystique and Shang Tsung probably don't even know who those characters are. Overall, the animation you saw was not a simulation, it was intended for entertainment purposes only, and it was just 100% pure eye candy. Okay, I'm glad I got that covered. Now without any more delay, let's discuss how and why Shang Tsung was this epic shape-shifting showdown. First off, let's discuss who is more skilled and experienced. Now it is true that Mystique and Shang Tsung are both very skilled in close combat and martial arts, but I think it's pretty clear that Shang Tsung has a lot more fighting experience than Mystique. Now because Mystique's shape-shifting ability is able to maintain her youth, Mystique has managed to live for over a hundred years. While she definitely has a lot of experience within that lifetime, Shang Tsung on the other hand has has actually lived and fought for over a thousand years. If that doesn't tell you how much more experience Shang Tsung has over Mystique, then I don't know what will. Now speaking of skill, Mystique and Shang Tsung are both very cunning, clever, devious, mysterious, mischievous, etc. And because of this, the chances of either of them distracting, outsmarting, or tricking one another are very low, because from what it seems, neither of them could really technically outwit the other, nor are they going to fall for each other's tricks. So because that would be essentially pointless, they're pretty much just going to have to rely on their combat of skills and physicality rather than their cunning intellect. Although, speaking of their tricks, let's discuss their weapons, powers, and abilities, shall we? Now, believe it or not, not only can Mystique form clothing from her own body while shapeshifting, but she has actually been shown in at least one instance transforming a metallic part of her costume into a functioning blaster pistol. Whether this is a function of her powers or the costume piece itself is unclear, but what we do know is that Mystique is capable of forming metallic weapons such as guns from her own body, which is quite impressive and would definitely be useful in a fight like this. Now as for Shang Tsung, being a sorcerer, he can use black magic related attacks such as shooting
shooting flaming skulls from his hands, making skulls erupt out of the ground, hot escape teleportation, and more. So because Mystique is a mutant and Shang Tsung is a sorcerer, this would probably be like one of those battles between science and technology versus magic, sort of. But aside from that, Mystique and Shang Tsung are both very capable of fighting with weapons as well as hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, now here's the part we were all waiting to hear. It's time to discuss shape-shifting. As we all know, Mystique and Shang Tsung are both known for their ability to shapeshift into the form of any being they desire. Okay, now some of us may or may not already know this, but the biggest difference between Mystique and Shang Tsung's shapeshifting abilities is that unlike Shang Tsung, Mystique's shapeshifting ability has clearly been stated to be limited to appearances only. While Mystique is able to form her body into the physical appearance of another mutant or being in general, she cannot assume the powers or abilities of whom she has morphed into. For example, Remember when Mystique fought Wolverine while disguised as him and Wolverine cut off her claws? That's because, while she was able to achieve Wolverine's physical appearance, she could not duplicate or form a real adamantium skeleton like Logan's. And that's just one example. Now on the other hand, when Shang Tsung shapeshifts into the form of another Mortal Kombat fighter, he actually does gain the powers and abilities of whom he has morphed into. In fact, Shang Tsung actually has the ability to steal and consume the souls of others, and when he eats someone's soul, he absorbs all of their memories, powers, and abilities to go with the shapeshifting ability. So in a way, Mystique would essentially be fighting nearly the entire Mortal Kombat roster all in one body, which would be just too much for Mystique to handle. Not to mention, Shang Tsung can also shapeshift into some characters from DC Comics as well. Okay, I know that the Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe game is technically not canon, as far as I'm aware, but right now Shang Tsung is fighting a Marvel character, and Marvel and DC have done a crossover before, so there could be a connection here. Or we could just say it's a coincidence and forget I ever brought this up. Anyway, it's time for what may be the final question of this debate. Could Shang Tsung steal and consume Mystique's soul? Well, to be honest, I don't see why not. In fact, you know how Rogue from the X-Men has the ability to absorb the powers, memories, and life force of whomever she touches? Well, Rogue has touched Mystique before, and Mystique did briefly suffer from the effects of Rogue's touch. In fact, if Rogue had touched Mystique for too long, she would have eventually killed her by literally sucking the life out of her. So if Mystique could have the life sucked out of her by Rogue, then I don't see why Shang Tsung couldn't sort of do the same thing by sucking out Mystique's soul. Now, eventually, Shang Tsung would will have overwhelmed and weakened Mystique to the point where he could finish her off with one of his famous brutal fatalities. Rather, if he wants to finish her off by sucking her soul dry, going inside her and exploding her body from the inside, transforming into Goro and tearing her in half, slamming her onto a bed of spikes, morphing into a giant cobra and swallowing her whole, straight up brutally beating her to death, turning into a crazy clown and blowing her brains out, possessing her body and forcing her to rip off her own head, or pretty much any other fatality related method, that's up for him to decide. So overall, while Mystique and Shang Tsung are both very cunning, deadly, and skilled fighters and shapeshifters, Shang Tsung holds the majority of advantages over Mystique, including fighting experience, power, combat variety, superior and more effective shapeshifting, and more. Okay, now I know that I might have sounded like I didn't put a lot of effort into the research for this battle, but that's mainly because there wasn't really as much to discuss in this episode as there were in my other episodes. Oh, and by the way, if I sounded like I was being kind of biased towards Shang Tsung, don't worry, I wasn't. In fact, I'm actually more of a Marvel fan than a Mortal Kombat fan, to be honest, so you don't really have to worry about that. Okay, I think I've said enough. So in the end, Shang Tsung has morphed his way to victory. The winner of this battle is Shang Tsung. Oh, and by the way, I want to give a huge special thanks to the animators of this battle, including Rampage Animations, The Warlord, aka BTL Video Productions, and Smackaderp. All three of these guys are incredibly amazing animators, and it was such an honor to have them here on tonight's episode, so do yourselves a favor and go check out their channels and subscribe. Next time on Show Off Showdown! Hey, Dylan. What, Spoderman? You are going to be on Show Off Showdown! Oh, really? Well, who the fuck am I fighting this time? Well, let's just say, he is a real faggot. What the fuck? Hello, my swell sexy faggots. My name is Drew Pickles, and today I am going to Show Off Showdown. Oh, fuck no. Got any ideas for show-off showdown?
then let me know in the comments below, and hopefully, I just might do them. Now stay tuned for the next episode of Show Off Showdown!